Welcome to the Mac user group channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FFmpeg from the command line. If you don't know already, FFmpeg is a free and open source command line tool that's used for processing audio, video, and image files. It is considered the Swiss army knife of command line audio, video, media file processing. I highly recommend this tool for any Mac users. Once you have Homebrew installed on your computer, you can install FFmpeg very simply using brew install FFmpeg from the command line. If you don't have Homebrew installed, look at the description below and I have a video that shows you how to install Homebrew from the command line. So once you have Homebrew installed and you ran brew install FFmpeg from the terminal, FFmpeg should be installed on your computer. Once it is installed from the terminal, run FFmpeg-V to check the version. Make sure your version is at least 4.3.1 or higher. You can get a lot of information about FFmpeg from FFmpeg.org. Now I'm going to show you how to install FFmpeg on a Mac Mini M1 from the terminal. Let's do it. First, we're going to run the terminal. And in, from the terminal, we're going to make sure brew is installed. So we're going to say which brew. So brew is installed in my default location. I'm now going to say brew install ffmpeg. And it is now going to install ffmpeg by downloading it and, and setting up everything. This is a long process. It might take a few minutes, uh, so go get a coffee. And I'm going to speed this up in, the, in this video so you'll see it really fast. Just want to mention that we have a Facebook group for this channel, the Mac user group channel. If you'd like to join, there's a link in the description below. Great, FFmpeg is installed. Let's try to check the version. The version of FM, FFmpeg is 4.31, which is good. So now we have FFmpeg installed. I have a few video about FFmpeg that I've created based on my usage. These are the common things that I often do. I often download a YouTube video and trim it for a specific reason, like I remove an intro or remove the ending or take just part of the middle or uh, some other part. So I have a video for that. I often download YouTube video and extract the music or audio from it so to listen to it uh, in, in the car or somewhere else. I often find myself removing audio to show it as a background video in an office or a storefront environment. There's also time when I took an image and made a video out of it or took a bunch of images or photos to make a video out of it as a, as a background video for, for a presentation. I also have extracted specific images from a video. I have created all these videos and linked them in the description below as tricks and tips so you can you can find them in this channel. I also have a powerful tip that reduces the time amount of time FFmpeg needs to process. So I have a, t a powerful tip video. Um, watch out for that. So these videos are available in this channel and I plan to create more if there is more interest. I'm a beginning to intermediate level FFmpeg user. I'm not an advanced user. So I may not be able to answer most of the, your advanced questions, but if you have uh, you know, intermediate level, up to intermediate level questions, I should be able to answer them and maybe even make videos for it. So ask them in comments. If you find this channel useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.